everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. If you would like to learn how to use radio buttons, also known as option buttons, and use them in a survey for example, and after that do some sort of analysis with a chart, please stay tuned. Okay, to start I create a simple table. I put the title of the sheet, it is Hotel Customer Satisfaction Survey, and I put the name of the person answering the survey and the date the survey is being filled out. We're asking the customers of the hotel to evaluate the room, the restaurant, the pool, the gym, and the parking lot. And for each of these five categories, we have five scores. Excellent, very good, good, fair, and poor. Let's start with room. Let's start inserting some option buttons. In order to do that, you have to go to your developer tab. Most people do not have it active. So what you want to do is go to the ribbon, right click. Where it says customize the ribbon, you want to click. You're going to find developer box, check it off, and OK. Now you have a developer tab. If you go to that developer tab and you click on it, now you have a bunch of developer tools. In today's video, we're going to use the option buttons, which are under insert option button I'm going to click on the option button and insert one over here since we have five scores for each of the categories I'm gonna need five of this I'm just gonna copy with control C and then paste with control V control V control V and control V I now have five categories I'm going to right click on one of this select the format control and then I'm going to go to the Control tab. In the Control tab, I'm going to ask Excel to use a cell link. In this case, I'm going to use C19 just for now. If I say OK, now I have a control that gives me a value when I select. You'll notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we said we have five scores for each of the categories. Since this is five, I'm going to rename this Excellent. Since this is my four, I'm going to rename this very good. And the last one is going to be poor. In order to help the person answering the survey, I'm going to put some color in here. So my excellent is going to have a dark green. Very good is going to be a lighter green. Good is going to be yellow, fair is going to be orange, and poor is going to be red. What I'm evaluating right now is the room, so I'm just going to organize these boxes now. Okay, at this point I have the first category ready to be scored. I'm going to make this score a little bit bigger just so you can see while I'm testing it. If I score the room to be excellent, I get a 5. Very good, it's a 4. Good is a 3. Fair is a 2. Poor is a 1. Very good, this is working. What I'm going to do next is to use this template to score the other four categories. What I'm going to do now is select all of this, copy with Control C and Control V. Before I go ahead and do the other four categories, I'm going to show you a couple of mistakes that people make often when using option buttons. Number one mistake. So right now I said I have my template for room 543 but if I copy this look what happens when I select excellent very good good. That is because Excel is assuming that all these 10 radio buttons belong to the same group. In order to fix this all you gotta do is go to developer tab go back to insert and this time you want to select a group box. I'm going to create a group box for this group. And I'm going to create a group box for this group. So now I have 5, 4, 3 for this group. And I have nothing over here. However, the two groups are working independently. 
Another common mistake I see on people using radio buttons is when they right click and they format the control, they link the cell to the same box than the original group. If I hit OK, let's see what happens. Both boxes are moving to the same spot. We don't want that. We want this second box to have its own score. Let's do this. Let's right click on any of these buttons. And this time I want to point at the following cell. Now I have two groups with different scores. Very good. Now that I have this figured out, I'm going to carry on and do the other three categories. We said category number one is going to be room. Category number two is going to be restaurant. I'm now going to copy this template, put control C, and then paste it. Paste it and paste it. This is for pool. This is for gym. And this is for parking lot. I'm just going to shift this group a little bit up so I have some room to create a table here. And let's do some formatting. My first group is room. My next one is restaurant. The next one is pool. Then gym. And parking lot. Let's link all of this accordingly. I want this group to go to this cell. I want this group to go to this cell. And I want this group to go to this cell. Okay, now I have a survey with five categories. I can test my room, let's say excellent. This is gonna be very good. This is gonna be fair, very good and good. Okay, at this point the survey is ready. And what we do with the survey is collect data and do some analysis. One quick way to reset the survey is to select the values in the cells and just delete. You will see that all of the radio buttons are now blank. I want to use the name and date of the survey, so I'm gonna just copy this. And I will wanna use the name and date from the survey. So name is gonna be equals to this value. Date is gonna be the same as this value. Enter. So if I'm filling the survey, James believes the room is excellent, the restaurant was good, the pool was fair, the gym was very good, and the parking lot was very good. I have data. We want to do some sort of analysis, so I'm going to take this data and paste it in a table. I'm going to insert a new tab, which I'm going to call analysis. I'm going to take this info and paste it in the analysis tab. This time I want to paste the special. I may need a survey number. And let's say we want to evaluate 15 surveys. In this 15, I want to use an average for each. So I'm going to use the formula average. Average for the room. Average for the restaurant, the pool, the gym, and the parking lot. And to make things more visual, I want to create a chart. I'm going to select this and insert a bar chart.
Okay, after having done some formatting, now I have an easy way to see my data. I'm gonna go back to my survey. I'm gonna delete these values in order to reset the survey. And I'm gonna get more data. My next person being surveyed is Take this data, copy, go to my analysis, paste the special, paste the values, my data updated in my chart. I'm gonna do one more survey. Copy my data, paste the special. And I'm gonna continue filling this down. And finally, Mike Wilson. Excellent, very good, good, very good, and fair. Copy and paste the special values. That's it. We're done with the 15 surface that we needed. So the analysis quickly tell us most of our customers like the room they don't really like the pool. The information for the management of this hotel would be to start working on the pool right away. The next one will be the parking lot and so on. And that's it for today. I hope that the option buttons, also known as radio buttons, can be of use in your daily work. If you have a challenge, whether it's at work, at home, or at school, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. I try to resolve common challenges of our viewers and subscribers. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.